Core Pearson, rookie yeah. minicamp, tryout player, not on the team. He lit it up. We talked about it, and then someone leaked a, a video of him just absolutely torching. I believe it was another uh, tryout guy, but super fast. He was the XFL leading receiver. I'm surprised he's not on a roster right now. I'm surprised the Niners haven't signed him already. Do you think they should? Do you think they will? They're so stacked at receiver, but I would. I Based on what I saw, um, I would cut Daz Newsome or Shea Wyatt and and go with that kid um now jim Hazlitt, who coached him in the uh, xfl said that he thought he was going to run 428 and he ran 442 so he and if you watch him he doesn't look 428 but he is fast and and he can gain separation down the field and man old miss has had a real hot run of receivers um and this kid you know played his final year at old miss so i you know it it just it's it really depends on what we're talking about is do you want to put somebody else in camp to take Danny Gray's spot? Because the, there's the two vertical threats they have here are Danny Gray and Ray Ray McLeod. So if you sign J. Cor Pearson, then you're basically saying that, you know, he's competing against those two guys for probably one spot. So I, I like it. I like it. I, to me, if you don't have deep speed, you can't have the ability to run off the coverage. It's a major element of play calling. Um, and you don't know what you're going to get out of Danny Gray. I like Danny Gray, and I think he, he's going to be. I think he's going to win the job over Ray Ray and, and probably over J. Cor Pearson. But you know what? J. Cor Pearson also has played running back, you know, slot receiver. He can play inside, outside. He can be used on special teams. Uh, there's a bunch of different uses. So to me, it's a speed game, and if if you can have a difference making speed guy, um, I'd rather invest in that than Shea Wyatt or Daz Newsom. Yeah, I mean, physically, or he Isaiah reminds Winston. me of Winstead, for that matter. Yeah, physically, he reminds me of Taylor Gabriel, who was a really good wide receiver under Kyle Shanahan in Atlanta. Yeah. Um, and small. yeah, like he's small, but he was just in the XFL. He just produced at a professional level. And you could bring him in, like Daz Newsom. Like, what has Daz Newsom ever done? He was pretty good at North Carolina. He's one catch in the NFL. Would he be the leading receiver in the XFL if he. I mean, is that is he that professional? Could he pull that off? I, I feel like this is the kind of guy. If you put him in a training camp, he'd win, he would beat out a lot of guys who might seem more talented than him. I think he's absolutely worth a a spot, and I think it's too bad that a team hasn't signed him already. Like, what, what are you doing? Well, I you know it's funny. I driven. I, I I've been uh, tweeting back and forth with uh, J Core, and he said to me that yesterday was the first day that xfl players could sign oh, so maybe okay. that's what's going on as far as the cool. delay um but cool. and based on what i saw he was better than daz newsome so i would definitely give him daz newsome's 90 man spot but i mean i'm not it's not saying he's going to make the team but i'll say this kid's quick he's got hands he's got run after the catch ability he ran across the middle of the field and his college highlights without a lot of peaking and drops so I think he's the real deal. Now he's five, he's tiny. I mean, he's five seven, and yeah. I don't know one sixty five, one seventy five. He's not very big, but um, he's exciting. He's exciting. And and Kyle, the number one thing you ask Kyle Shanahan, what's the number one thing he likes about receivers? He looks for separation, and this kid gives you separation. Also, he I love that he played in the XFL. I love kids or young men who don't make it in the NFL and don't just give up. And yeah. they love because it shows that they love football. Right. It shows right. that they really love football. And that's the culture the 49ers have built here. And the guys who don't fit in are the guys that may not necessarily love it the way everyone else does, the way Kyle does. He seems like a perfect fit. That's Bring a great in, point. Gonna, yeah. I don't think people realize how many guys are actually in the NFL, not because they love football, but just because they're good and they're blessed yeah. with incredible athleticism. Yeah. But you're right. And they want to make if money. You, if you play secondary football, you love football. And so that, ask Eric Crocker. Fell. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I saw it when I worked in the Canadian league, those guys loved football and yeah. they, lo and, and you play NFL Europe, you love football. You play XFL, you love football because you're not making yeah. a lot of money. You're still yeah. risking paralysis. And yet you're out there throwing your body around because you love the game and you love to play. And it. you're competing and you're improving. Like right. those guys are better. He's better than he was at Ole Miss. Is Daz Newsom better than he was at North Carolina? I don't know. Probably not. So I yeah I mean come on come on Niners yeah you gotta bring and, that, and that's in. a good point too the, yeah. in these secondary leagues 
they're passing leagues. CFL's yeah. a passing league. They're, you know, third down is for, is you know, there's only three downs. So you're everything's about passing. And these XFL leagues, these secondary football leagues, a lot of times it's about passing to try to get people excited. So who develops in a passing league? Corners and wide receivers. And it's like seeing Jacor Pearson in person, it was obvious why he didn't why he's on the team. Like he just looks out of place. But then watching him compete and perform, it's like mm, no, he needs to be here. He needs to right. be here. Oh, he's an he he is an NFL caliber athlete, and I you oh, know yeah. there's no doubt in my mind about that NFL caliber competitor. I hope he gets his opportunity. 